Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video of Maida short video series. In this video we will be talking about camber control. So as of now we are having this FCM bridge, the boundary sub conditions being shown. And if we talk about this balance cantilever bridge, so you can see we are having piers and then the segments are constructed on both the sides in the subsequent stages. And at the end of the stage CA16, the structure is completed. So since this is a balanced cantilever bridge, it will undergo some deformation during the propagation of construction stages like each construction stage followed up with some deformation to these segments. So that is why it is important that we control this deformation by providing the camber. So here we are having under the results option camber control feature. So we will be using this feature and if we talk about this, so you can see under the FCM camber control, we need to select the groups for the relevant thing like here we are having bridge girder support node and key segments so we will be selecting these structure groups under these conditions if we see the key segments so here the elements which are our key segment will be selected under this group then the bridge girder elements and then the support nodes so these two extreme nodes will be the support nodes since we are having boundary conditions and these four nodes will also act as support since it is connected to the peers so once that is selected and during the analysis we go under the construction stage analysis and here we need to check on the supply camber displacement to construction stage if defined so once this is done and after the performing analysis here we are having FCM camber graph view so I'm checking under CA16 and under the CA submission so, so these are the camber control graph for my structure and you also get the tabular results like this so for the each node under the following stages where it is activated the camber is present in this manner so these are the camber values the top values you see these are the camber values that will be assigned to the relevant nodes now for assigning this camber we go under the load construction stage and here camber for construction stage now here we need to select add replace deformation camber FCM camber since we are assigning the values from FCM camber that is why I'm selecting this and we just need to select the nodes for our girders and hit on apply so using this three dot option you can see the deformation camber that has been applied now for checking the results I will activate only my girders and I will check DZ deformation so this is the deformation that we are getting without camber and now when we check on this include camber displacement and we hit on apply you can see the deformation as zero so that is how the camber is applied and after the construction stage 16 all the nodes are coming exactly at zero deformation so hence the use of camber is necessary in these kinds of situations hope you had a great learning see you in the next video